there are 5,000 homeless students in Las Vegas and Project 150 is available to help out. Their mission is to offer support and services to homeless high school students in the Las Vegas area. So who we have here today to discuss Project 150 is Don Perdue. Welcome. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Tell us a little bit about yourself and how you became a part of Project 150. That's well, pretty interesting. I heard about 150 homeless high school kids at Rancho High School. I saw it on Facebook from a news story that ran locally and really couldn't believe that there could be 150 homeless high school students in Las Vegas, yet alone in Rancho High School. And so one day at lunch, I went down and uh, visited Rancho High School to find out for myself. In doing that, I talked to the counselor there, Angela, who's in charge of the homeless project. And I think the fact that you have to have a homeless advocate in a high school speaks volumes. Yes. During my 20 minute stay with Angela, three students stopped into her office. A young girl stopped in to hand her a thank you card that Angela had been able to find her and her father a apartment. The girl had been living on the streets and the next young man stopped in and asked Angela if she could find a cap and gown so that he could attend his high school graduation. Another student stopped by terribly uncomfortable. He couldn't get back into class. He had missed two days the week before, and he had no signature from a parent to be able to get back into school and get through the dean. The fact that he didn't know where his father was living, he was Mm -hmm. unable to get to him. By the time my 20 minutes with Angela was done, I was near tears in talking to her and learning about these students. So Project 150 was born on that day. I went back and emailed a couple friends, put this out on Facebook, that these kids needed help, and what started as a Christmas drive soon became a full-fledged effort to help kids uh, across the valley in high schools. It's kind of a Christmas present that became bigger and bigger. Exactly. At first, we volunteered to help 17 families and get them Christmas gifts. And after we delivered those Christmas gifts, I realized, you know, I've got four kids at home. They attend school here in Las Vegas. And They're looking forward to Christmas break. It's going to be a great time. There's going to be presents. There's family. And the students at Rancho High School were fearing Christmas break. Their only reliable meal comes at the school. What were they going to do over these two weeks while it's a celebration for nine out of 10 kids? For a tenth of the kids in Clark County, it's devastating to be away from the school. And so we took this Christmas drive and we got food gift cards put together and we raised almost $10,000 in food gift cards so that these kids could have a place to go in a meal during this break. But the work that Angela does at Rancho High School, that Luann Wagner does at Clark High School, is amazing. They're there at 5.30 in the morning because invariably they show up and there's a student sleeping on the doorsteps with no other place to go. Wow. So since this uh, Project 150 came about, what is a day like working with these students? You know, with these teachers and these counselors face problems day to day. We got a call several weeks ago from uh, Luann Wagner at Clark High School, and she said, I've got a student whose uh, mother is about to be evicted. She's hardworking. She missed a couple of weeks of work due to an illness, and just living paycheck to paycheck, she wasn't going to be able to make her rent. And so they came to us for help. We stepped in. We talked to the landlord. The mother, we were able to buy her a little bit of time. She stood up, she paid her own bill and made it happen. But we get these requests constantly. I have a student who found a place to live, but they don't have a bed. They don't have clothes. They don't have bus passes to get to a job. And these kids are self-supporting. They're intelligent. They're hardworking kids. They just need a break. You know, (laughs) they need a place to stay. Right. How do you gather these devices or tools like a bed or whatnot? How do you help them out? You, You know what? We, uh, put it out on Facebook. We come to groups like uh, you and say, please get our message out. We we need the help. We're lucky enough. Storage One donated a warehouse for us so that uh, we have a place to store these things. But social media is it. I I don't know a a, a Twitter from... anything else in the world or, <laughs> you know, and, uh, but uh, my kids go, oh yeah, this is the way everybody talks today, dad, you got to get on this. Right. <laughs> and so it, it's through Facebook, it's through Twitter, whatever that is. And uh, through groups like this that uh, help us spread our message. That's so great. You know, I'm a big fan and a believer of social media as what you're saying. It does truly help. This is even one way that social media did help you guys through Project 150. They gave you a bed, right? Absolutely. All right. That's it, so great. It's unbelievable. We, uh, 
heard from a counselor out in a school. I've, I've known this lady for 20 years. She's a dear friend. And she told me, oh, you know, I've got churches. I've got groups that are willing to help. I've got a church who wants to make donations and they need somewhere to go. And so the LDS Women's Relief Society out of the Lone Mountain Stake did a drive for us. And 200 women and their family put together food, clothing, donations, and everything. It filled a, a room the size of a basketball court. It was amazing. Wow. So how did LDS Women's Society, as you were saying, how did they find out about Project 150? Well, they went to Sheila Burns up at uh, Centennial High School and said, hey, we want to do this. And she says, well, I've got six students up here, but I know a guy who's got a lot more. And so what grew at Rancho High School, we're now in 14 high schools trying to support it. We've The volunteers are people who grew up here, people who hear about us, you know, who just can't believe that due to the economy, due to other factors, have put these kids in this situation. Right. Yeah. And you're speaking of the economy. You have a lot of events coming up that I definitely want to discuss to help Project 150 because this is such a great cause. I mean, after all, there is 5,000 homeless students in the Las Vegas area and we can help them out just by attending these events. So the first one that I want to discuss is is one that just happened, Brady's birthday. What was that and uh, how did it go? It went uh, great. Brady's birthday was in honor of a young man, Brady Kaipa, who was a senior at Bishop Gorman High School, and he passed away this year. Brady was mm. a friend of my son's, a dear friend of my family, and one of the warmest kids you'd ever want to meet. He had a huge heart, and his mother, through Bishop Gorman, came to us and said, we'd like to do something. I know this is something that Brady would be behind. We'd like to do this with the proceeds going to Project 150. Bishop Gorman has been a huge supporter of our project. They jumped in. We had several hundred students join us and bowl. Red Rock Station Casinos helped us out. What a great event and for a wonderful, what a wonderful kid he was. I'm so glad that you were able to do that. Will you be doing that every year? You know what? We do. We want to make that an annual event and uh, continue to work with uh, the Kaipa family. And uh, Brady was an inspiration to us. and We love him. Now, there's another event that just happened, Race for the Cure. How did that go? That's great. That was one where Project 150 recognizes the devastating effects of breast cancer. And our volunteers got together. We had uh, 25, 30 people out there showing our support for that wonderful cause. We lost a dear friend this year, a young mother of two children to breast cancer, and it's something that affects all of us. It's a great event, and we're there every year to support them. So there are up and coming events that hasn't passed <laughs> so that you can attend those. And one of them is the 51st baseball game, which is on May 24th. Tell us about that. It's going to be great. We've got uh, Project 150 night at the Las Vegas 51's baseball game, Thursday, May 24th. Can't go without mentioning that it's dollar beer night, dollar beer night, dollar beer night. <laughs> and so, All right, I'm, <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> go to our website at www.project150lv.org. Check out our events, click on and uh, get your tickets. A portion of those proceeds go to Project 150. We want to get our message out and you can buy tickets for teachers. We had a young man donate eight tickets uh, to teachers so that they can attend the game and uh, be part of the celebration without coming out of their pocket. We know wow. the teachers have to do that enough for school supplies and everything else. So we like to show our support and our love as well. The gratitude, yes. Okay. And then how about the golf tournament that's coming up? Oh, this is going to be fun. We've got a golf tournament on Friday, June 22nd out at Silverstone. Again, go to our website, just click on events and you can pay for your tickets there. Get a foursome together, come out and have fun. Really help us support our cause and help us, you know, give these kids a, a break and give them a chance. Okay. Well, you know what? We're talking about going to your website and getting more information. Tell us an email address or a phone number that we can reach out to get that information or to even give back. That's great. Again, the best way is to go to our website, but if you call 570-7214, that comes right to me. Project 150 is all volunteers. It's a Las Vegas-based non-profitable organization, and we're here to solve a Vegas problem. If you'd like to drop off any donations of clothing, of food gift cards, Harmony Homes is the one who established us, and you could drop anything off to any one of their sales offices. Harmony Homes has 14 sales offices across the valley. Again, their map is on our website, and help us support these kids. They, they need help. So if there's one story that stands out, out of all the stories, Project 150 has helped a, a child or a student succeed. 
Which one would you tell us right now? You know what? Just sitting here talking about it, I can think of a number, but the advocate at Valley High School called us and said, hey, I need help. I've got two students that their family has managed to get a roof over their heads, but Don, I don't think, I don't think they have anything. And so I said, you know what? I'm going to let you have my phone number. If these students want help, if their family wants help, have them call me. We, we work real hard to protect the anonymity of these kids. Social stigma when I went to schools, if you didn't have the right pair of Nike shoes, you know, you thought you'd be ostracized. Imagine a student who's got to come forward for help because their family doesn't have furniture or doesn't have food. It's a very difficult proposition. But this family called us and they said, you know, we don't, we don't have anything. And um, I said, you know what, I've got a bed and I've got a couple sofas and I've got a refrigerator Will it help? And they said, oh, absolutely. And so uh, myself and some volunteers uh, filled up a pickup truck. We went over to this family's house. And to tell you that they had nothing, you walk into a house and there's not a piece of furniture. There's not a bowl in the kitchen. And the father was explaining, I I got rid of everything to pay the rent. And it tragic. Two kids, big, bright faces, you know. Uh, smiling up at you. And I said, you know, I don't know. This couch is a little beat up. And the girl says, you know, <laughs> mister, I'll have a place to sleep. And so it, it it's, it's gut wrenching. Um, it's rewarding, but you know, just getting through high school, you know, was tough enough right. without having to worry about where you're going to eat your next meal or whether you're going to have a roof over your head. We've got 45 people helping out every day. It's all after hours. It takes away from their families. They do a great job. I'd sound like a NASCAR driver if I told you everybody who helped out. You know, the Rotary <laughs> Club of Summerlin, the UMC Lead Nurses, uh, Bally's Metro PC donated several prepaid cellular phones so that these uh, parents could uh, get in touch with people to get jobs and to answer interview calls. Uh, it's been great. Carl's Jr., Trio Healthy Services, all great people, all been huge in helping us out. Thank you so much for coming in, Don. I greatly appreciate your time here. I sure appreciate it.